When you think of Mount Hood over the decades, there's a good chance images like these come to mind. Deep snow. This is video of scientists measuring that deep snow back in 1979. In fact, crews measure its depth every year to determine water supplies for the coming season. Farmers depend on that snow melt for their crops, but they might not be able to for too much longer. Coastal mountain ranges such as the Cascades may face more amplified losses. Dr. Alan Rhodes is concerned. Like Rhodes is a researcher with the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. After analyzing snowpack data and projected temperature rise, he found that peak annual snowpack in the Cascades could decrease by about a quarter in the next 30 years. And by the end of the century? We found that this low to no snow might occur in the next 35 to 60 years. Um, and, and so that, you know, low to no snow implies that there's going to be dramatic impacts for our water supply. Road says the snow simply can't compete with rising temperatures. It's just the freezing point of water is non-negotiable, right? It's just that as we continue to warm more and more, we can't have below freezing conditions be maintained for long periods of time. In the decades to come, ski seasons will become increasingly shorter. Resorts will have to rely more on artificial snow, which is energy intensive and costly. And then eventually if it gets warm enough, it's just virtually impossible to keep, you know, producing artificial snow to meet, um, to meet skier needs. So yeah, in some regions at maybe lower elevations, um, those ski resorts would likely be um, pretty dramatically impacted. Rhodes hopes his research will shine the spotlight on snowpack as an impact of climate change that is just as important as sea level rise, wildfires, and extreme weather events. His goal is to help identify ways managers might be able to overcome snow loss, find ways to mitigate it, and prepare for a warmer, less snowy future. Keely Chalmers, KGW News.